Hi, everybody. It's Jody Franklin, and I'm delighted to have Ashley Koff here today. Ashley's going to tell us how you can use personalized nutrition to better your patient outcomes and really um, bring your practice to a whole different level. I, I think this is a missing piece for so many of us. And I just would like to welcome you, Ashley. Thank you so much for coming on with us today. Thank you, Jody. Um, this oh, I'm so excited about this, and just also thank you, Terry. Oh, you, I'm so impressed with both of you and just everything we're able to put together. Uh, even just merging this with a, a, a live webinar and on Facebook, so technology wins for sure. Um, so, and it's great to meet you all. Uh, and whether you're watching live or you're watching on a recording, um, please feel free to connect with me with questions uh, as we go through this. But you are absolutely right, Jody. There's never been a more important time to look at personalized nutrition primarily because it's what every non-practitioner entity is selling to consumers and they can't deliver on it and it's our superpower. So um, yes, we know we need to maybe compete in the practitioner space, but we really need to compete against the direct to consumer offerings that are not bringing somebody into working with a qualified practitioner. So I'm gonna show you today how to really harness that superpower. Uh, I'm going to go through a slide presentation. If you have questions, I know Jody has some things she may wanna comment on, uh, but please feel free Otherwise, I definitely have time uh, for a, a Q and A, you know, at the uh, conclusion as well. So I'll come over here and share. And while, and while she's putting that up on the screen, I just want you all to know that Ashley has been kind enough to give our group a special offer on her program if any of you are interested in the end. But I think you'll gain a lot of insight just watching this presentation either way. So definitely stay on and um, she'll give you more info on that in a sec. I'm going to mute myself because I'm competing with a lawnmower. So <laughs> go ahead, Ashley, take it away. Yeah, and we also have a free tool. So if it's not at the right time for you to invest right now, and you know, we'll talk about you know some of the different things, um, but this is just really important concept for you to be thinking about. Um, so part of the reason is that, so I've been a practitioner for uh, about 25 years. I've worked as uh, integrative, functional, before it was called, you know, complementary, alternative, woo-woo, like, you know, range of different things on that part. And as a dietitian, uh, very early on, you know, I didn't ever even use the, the expression niche, but I always was focused on really personalizing nutrition. And that was something that always helped me from a marketing standpoint, differentiate my practice. And it was important then, it's essential today. And we're going to talk about why that is. Um, and so for many people, and you guys actually filled in what some of you submitted and said, this, these are your challenges. You know the power of better nutrition. You know that that's what's going to heal someone, help them get better results, but you don't have an easy system to implement personalized nutrition in your practice. Maybe you're actually telling your patients how important their nutrition is, but they're not making changes, right? So you're, you're kind of tired of, hey, I wish you, you know, could drink more water if you only ate like this, et cetera. You also have, and I think all of us, this, when I say patients, and also I use patients and clients interchangeably, so for coaches, you know, et cetera, but uh, so just note uh, on that uh, wording, um, but this is also true of prospects. They are trying all sorts of things, supplements, programs, wearables, and they're doing it without you. They're getting testing and thinking like, oh, I just need to give up almonds. That's what my, my stool test said, not going to root cause, not working with a practitioner like you. Um, you may have actually referred patients in the past to nutrition practitioners trying to collaborate. So if you're trying to do that and maybe you didn't get great results and more importantly or equally importantly, maybe you just didn't even know what happened to your patients at that point or maybe they didn't actually go and see a nutrition professional, um, but you weren't making any profits uh, from a practice standpoint. So it was like a lot of work that you were doing and it wasn't bringing anything back um, in terms of that. You might also be suggesting labs and supplements if it's in your scope of practice to patients, but they actually aren't willing to purchase, or maybe they think like, are like, well, maybe I'll do that later. Uh, and we don't have a system that's actually showing them why you need, why you're making those recommendations and why it's so important for their better outcomes. And legit, I say 99 here, I'm like 99,000 things to do, right? We have to like figure out how to like get the webinar going and get the Facebook up and do this. And it's just, where's our time? Where's our revenue and our profits as it relates to that? And then also where is the client or the patient retention, you know, that long-term for us. So that's why I've created today's session because when we, go, when we approach our practice and offer personalizing total nutrition, it sets you in part, it increases revenue. And with what we're going to show you, it actually increases your profitability. It's a better time saver for you in that part. Uh, it will help you get those better outcomes on repeat, which is really what we want to be able to do, which really turns into better client retention. And we have a system to make this easier and more efficient because I spent years writing out 
um, you know, things in, on different papers and sending them to people, uh, you know, copying and pasting Amazon links, trying to share research and do all of this. And I was like, there has to be a better, more efficient way. So we'll cover how to assess the patient's total nutrition. We'll go through what I think is probably the most important. So note this down for your business. You need today to compete better. You need to move away from telling patients, clients, anything, whether that's in your marketing, whether that's in your sessions with them, we have to show them. And the show helps somebody understand not just what their personal needs are, but it helps them understand that they have choices and then that you're a part of helping them figure out how to make those choices. And that's gonna be really essential. Um, it will, and we'll go through how it works within your, your business model. Um, but first, you know, why are we here? Like, is this going to be better for you? So um, are these the things that are the better use of your time? You who has gone to maybe like SAFM or maybe I, you know, you've studied functional medicine, maybe you're continuing to do additional studying. So is it the best use of your time to, you know, do hours of recording videos or live sessions where you're sharing knowledge and hoping to attract patients? Um, is the best use of your time dancing on social media? Is the best use of your time hours on Canva or paying someone to develop content that you still have to review and approve and that might just get somebody to like it and follow you, which is great, but it's pretty far away from them actually coming to see you and, and pay you money on that part. Um, and is the better use for you trying to re-engage patients after initial sessions or packages? Um, one of my least favorite things, and I, I chat with clients uh, and my clients now are practitioners like you all the time, you know, that super awkward email that you send out to someone that's like, hey, so just wondering how you're doing, how's your skin? We don't need to be doing that. That's not a better use of our time on that part. And it really isn't going to be what's re-engaging them. And as we'll see, they've had thousands of messages between you ending and starting them and coming back to them from other places. And they're likely off to, you know, learning about or even choosing someone else on that part. So I believe what is better for you, and this is also what is going to be better for the patients, is your time spent working with them to identify the root cause of their health complaints. Being able to have all the information that you need to personalize their roadmap. Being able to have patients that engage with you and your team between sessions proactively, they're sharing the choices they're making so you see their progress and you also see when they're not progressing and we get to pivot because somebody not progressing doesn't mean that they're non-compliant or they've got a problem. It means we haven't figured out something that's doable for them today and so we need to pivot, but we need that information, right? We also want those that are willing to pay for, whether it's additional testing and supplements or um, whether it's additional sessions or whether, you know, whatever it is, we want them to understand your value. And as that collaborator with them, that's what we're really looking to be able to offer. So I think that's the better use of your time. Quick introduction about me. I won with personalization. I know you can do this. I see it on repeat with patients, I see with practitioners when I'm helping them come in and shift how they're, the communications that they're having from the marketing, as well as the communications they're having in their sessions with their patients, which by the way, is marketing. When you're working really intensely with somebody and you're helping get to the root cause and figuring it out, that is the best marketing. It's also your zone of genius. Um, so I had great year on year client retention. You know, I got to do all sorts of different things in, in my business. I actually closed down my private practice a couple of years ago when I started the Better Nutrition Program because, as I'll point out today, you can't do it all. So you, you can't actually develop incredible content that is going to drive the engagement and the marketing and all the things that you need to do and also be in practice and keeping up to date on genomics testing and how we implement these other pieces. So you got to know where your zone of genius is. And today, the Better Nutrition Program delivers these tools. We also help entities um, with their, we take, we take our content and we come in and we personalize. So right now we're working with, um, you know, uh, different companies to help them develop programs. We've got like uh, um, Big Bold Health, which is Jeff Bland's entity. We've developed the content for their Immunity Plus program because, you know, Jeff is really, really smart, but how do we translate, translate that to patients today, right? We need engagement and breakthrough there. And that's what I get to do. So I'm excited about that piece. Um, I got to do a lot of really great things. When somebody looks at this, they might turn around and say, well, hey, Ashley, that's not personalized on this part. However, in my communications, whether in the media, whether in marketing, there was always an opportunity to be able to elevate and have a conversation around why somebody, what somebody needs to ask of their practitioner. And that was what I was able to do. And again, known for personalization. And we all love testimonials. They help us a lot. I just want to share a bit about this. 
honestly, forget the faces and the names for a moment. What I want, when I judge my success, I want people to, I want people to play back that I'm doing things that are personal, um, that I'm, you know, coming in and I'm breaking up what isn't working in there. And I'm able to do things that are practical and that are doable. I have one client here who says, you know, 10 years later, I'm still practicing the fundamentals. Those are wins for me, doable nutrition. And, um, you know, looking at address different personal nutrition, uh, nutrition needs, et cetera, on that part. So totally enough about me. I just wanted to give you a case study of one, which is I did it all by offering personalized nutrition. And the real fact and the key to all of this, and this is what we need to deliver to our patients today is there is no perfect health. So if anyone is selling a one size fits all solution, there's nothing perfect there. It's better. There's better and better is always going to be personal. And that's where you come in. So there was actually no definition of better nutrition. So I created one, I gift it to you at the better nutrition program. Our content is your content. When you use this definition, you help somebody understand why you're going to make the kinds of recommendations you're making. So better nutrition gives a body, an individual body, what it needs to run better today. So that also helps them understand that, you know what, I'm going to come back in three months because it's a new season. You might be eating differently at that point, and we need to reassess your rainbow, or we need to reassess your caffeine intake, nor et cetera. And then while we're also aiming to reduce what can overwhelm, irritate, and disrupt its efforts. So it's not just about boosting the immune system. It's about coming in and looking at this um, from a root cause perspective and really looking at, okay, what do you need? to run better, but also what is interfering with that running better on that part. And so people are coming to and considering you, they want to choose you because they're sick and tired and they feel hopeless. Medicine and diets have failed them, so they feel like failures. That is a huge buzz, buzz ding, bell, et cetera, should go off for you. They feel like failure. You need to help them have successes and you need to help them see, see, be able to see themselves as potential, able to be successful, you know, as a successful individual. And the way that we do that is we show them how they're going, they're going to win differently with you. So they want something that works for that, for them. They want it to be delicious to them. It doesn't help if it's delicious to me. My breakfast doesn't matter to anyone on that part. It's what's delicious, you know, to them today. Uh, people who care for others, they want something that works for them and the rest of their family or whoever they're caring for. And they, most importantly, it needs to be doable for them today. That means it needs to be affordable. That needs, means it needs to resonate with their cultural preferences. It needs to resonate with, um, you know, their, the choices, how they want to spend their time, any of these things. So it's hyper personal. And that's exactly what they're not being sold and what they're spending a lot of money on. We know this. We see it all the time when anyone's going out there for weight loss, they're being told to eat less calories in calories out, low carb, get rid of all of those car carbohydrates, you know, eat this, not that. If you're constipated, you need more fiber, uh, not a good situation, right? Um, if you have low iron on your CBC, take an iron supplement and I'll see you next year at your annual. Are you kidding me? If you're vegan, every vegan needs a B12 and calcium supplement. What about magnesium? What about the type of B12? What about, you know, what about if they're taking in B12? Um, maybe they're using nutritional yeast and something else like that. And it has folic acid fortified in there. We need to do so much better on that. What if you quote unquote have MTHFR? We all know that. Um, but in that case, it's not just about methylated B12 and folate. We, we need to do a pantry audit. We need to get rid of that folic acid. We need to see, are you getting in enough choline? We need to see what's going on with your zinc. We need to see and tell them and show them a lot of things that they aren't being uh, shown. So ultimately, and this is the most important thing that comes out of today. Ultimately, the only person that can actually do what somebody needs is you. That, I just want you to think about that for a second. The only person that can do it is you. You're training, you're sitting with them, you're not just assessing them and doing an intake, you're reassessing and ongoing and seeing how they're progressing, seeing what happens when life changes. So it's never gonna be that keto, paleo, fasting, any of these are good or better or best. It's going to be that we need Ashley's keto, Stacy's paleo, Tom's fasting. And that is, that's you, that is your superhero. Personalization is your superpower. And it, it consistently, I see practitioners not harnessing this. If you are out there just telling people about, you know, kale is really good for you because of this, 
that's not personal. If you're out there sharing information about, you know, um, hey, if you have vaginal dryness, here are the five different causes that, you know, no, that's not personal. We need to actually ask questions to get in there. But starting from a standpoint, this is why you're going to win. It's your superpower. Only you can actually show them what their body needs to run better. You can do the assessments that reveal insufficiencies and excesses and identify root causes. You can see that their food, their drinks, their supplements, their medications, that's what I call total nutrition. It all affects their health outcomes. So a supplement company that's having them fill out a quiz that maybe is even asking them, like, are you a vegan? And then, you know, sending them off some supplements on that part. It's not asking, what did you actually eat? What medications are you on? What are you choosing to have? What are you not able to have any of that stuff? So they're not going to get better results. You're going to be able to deliver those better results. You also get to do when you show them, not tell them, you show them they have choices. This is a really big one for me because when I did, and this is a free tool that we offered all of you, when I did my rainbow evaluation, and by the way, I do my rainbow evaluation every quarter now because I goose egged it. I failed. I bombed. I had a big zero, nothing in orange. And in fact, I was doing a presentation with Deanna Minnick and we were laughing about this. She's like, Ashley, are you kidding? Like hormones, skin, like uh, Im immunity, like all these things. I'm like, oh, I know. I'm like all my feminine energy, the things I'm not harnessing by not getting in orange. But you know what? I just really, I don't like I'm just not somebody who's going to turn to those orange foods more often. Well, I had to figure out a way, okay, I can buy a sweet potato each week and I can come up with something to do with it. I can, I love turmeric and I just had to be consistent with getting it in better, not perfect. I also made sure that my multi hat was made with um, organic oranges. Again, it's not the same as eating it, but it was helping me on that part. And so I came back to it. And then what I realized was seasonally, I need to make sure I'm getting in, or in that orange. I'm much better with carrots in the summer than I am in the winter because I don't like cooked carrots. But now with an air fryer, I will get in. So I have choices now, and now it's my responsibility to make those choices. I needed to know what was doable. I needed to know it was delicious. When I travel, I've got my turmeric supplement. That's done. You know, those kinds of things. So we need to show them how to make those choices more often. Often. not just give them a, a list of eat this, not that on that part, but how are we going to show you how to make those choices? You're the only ones who can show them how making those choices is working or not. Guess what? We find out so much from our patients when we find out what doesn't work for them. So if I turned around and said, you know what, I'm just not going to buy a sweet potato, then so nobody needs to be talking to me about sweet potato, like all the different ways you could use sweet potato. It's not, it's not going to happen. I'm not buying it. So we have to look at then what I am able to do. And that demands that we do reassessment repeatedly in our practice. And that doesn't require labs. We're talking about nutrition here. We're talking about what the messaging that your, your body is getting from food on a consistent basis. And you're able to continuously support them on their health journey. Remember all the things, and I started off talking about how the win for you is this is to compete with everything else that they're being sold. They're being sold beach body over here. They're being sold supplements over here. They're being sold poop tests over here. There, there's a new genetic test that now sells you supplements and a meal plan on that part. All of this without a practitioner in that part, we have to show them how we are different within that space. And this is how we are able to compete. So I thought I would take you through just a couple of case studies that use our tools to show you examples on, on this part. And then also, because I just find practitioners want to hear about it, um, the marketing side of this. You know, how do I actually go in from a business standpoint and do this? Remember, I think of marketing at every phase. So even when there are patients, as well as when there are prospects on this part. Maybe you're like me and you've had one, I had like thousands of patients that are like, I just want to lose weight, right? I'm, I've, I'm, you know, got that belly fat or I'm struggling to lose weight. And Ashley, I have tried everything. I've tried Atkins. I'm old. So my practice, a lot of people were trying Atkins, you know, then it was South Beach and now it's like a different version and keto and intermittent fasting and nothing was working. Well, um, one of the things that I can do is, and they may have actually um, met me through social media or a presentation where they actually got this guide to fasting as a lead magnet. And our tools distinguish themselves because um, this is a fun little fact. I actually started my career in marketing. I sold sugared cereals to America and around the world and told you they were really good for them. I'm really good. I sold diamonds, um, hair color. I'm really good at marketing and selling. You all are not. 
And when you create lead magnets, I'm just going to be really blunt. You spend a lot of time, you make them look pretty, you make sure everything is, you know, all the research information is in there and you give it all away. I see all the time, all this information in your lead magnet. And it's like, somebody doesn't need you anymore. Like the top five supplements for better skin. And somebody goes off to Amazon and buys them and never does anything else with you. Right. So our tools are always about, Hey, this is what you need to talk with me about. This is what you need to talk to your practitioner about. So this person may have come to me by actually getting this fasting guide as a lead magnet and, and, uh, and said, you know, well, I've tried a lot of this and it isn't working. And I'm like, okay, I'll tell you why none of this stuff is working for you. So I have them go through a digestive evaluation. Now I could absolutely without this tool, get on the phone with them. I could email back and forth. I could ask them, are you going number two, number one? Do you have, you know, bags under your eyes? Does your armpit smell? Do your breath smell? Do you, have you ever taken this medication? Have you ever taken this medication? Do you do this? Do you not do this? Um, I can go through all of that. I choose today not to do that because that's not a better use of my time. But when I have this information here, what I was actually able to find out that was that after, you know, traveling around, this person had gone to Singapore back in the days when we traveled a lot, I uh, had come back and it actually taken a, you know, a supplement and some other stuff. And it was like, okay, your constipation, your digestive issues are really what is keeping us. It doesn't matter what kind of fasting you do. It doesn't, it, it wasn't that you needed to do a 12 hour or a 16 hour. It was that, Hey, your digestion isn't working better. So that helped me lead into a digestive tune up on that part and get really clear about what we needed to be able to do. Um, so in that, I was then able to come up with a plan for them. Now, as a dietitian, this might be my approach, depending on scope of practice, you might have um, gone over and referred to, you know, we have our digestive tune up program that um, our app based one that you can send people People through. You also might have, you know, maybe work in collaboration with someone. If you're a doctor, you may have said, hey, I want you to work with my health coach, my dietitian, et cetera, on this part. Um, but I might have, you know, done a GI map test to actually get some additional results. And this is really important. Whenever we recommend a lab test or we're doing any type of testing, we don't want to leave our patients waiting until we get the results. You want them to be doing something in that time period because when you leave them waiting, guess what happens? Other people market to them. Other companies are coming in and they're so motivated at that point. The other thing is if they have two or three weeks, it's just their fa failure mindset. I've done this before. I've tried this. This isn't working. So we will do certain things. So to address constipation, we worked on stress check-ins and looked at what happens when you do breathing. We did a magnesium evaluation and talked about how magnesium helps the body turn off the stress response. Um, don't just give supplements and be like, oh, I want you to take magnesium. Actually show them. Hey, you're not eating this. By the way, you could eat dark chocolate. If we upgraded your cacao, look at you know what would happen on this part, right? What about if we went from white flour to wheat flour? 70% difference in, in cacao on, excuse me, in magnesium on that part, or in a gluten-free grain. What if we went from white rice to brown rice and we're increasing that? So we can increase our magnesium intake and we may recommend a supplement or we may not need to recommend a supplement, you know, depending on that part. And then we get all the information when we get the test results back. And now they've actually been working with us and starting to make some changes and starting to see some results. So they're more likely going to be receptive to what it is. And then you come back to it. So I don't just do the magnesium evaluation once, six weeks later, two months later, four months, four years later, I might be doing the magnesium evaluation quarterly, you know, depending on what I'm working on with this individual. One of our colleagues is a rock star. Um, and she, uh, she and I talk about this all the time. Like if I could just change one thing, it's that I don't think anybody should be allowed to have a CBC go in for their annual uh, and be, you know, have a, a couple of the levels there come back as low iron and be recommended an iron supplement. I mean, I am on my soapbox. Jody's like nodding. It's like the worst thing because why is your iron low? Like why? It's so important for us to know that why. And so our iron evaluation is literally the only tool. When I introduce this to, forget about if somebody's integrative or functional. I took this tool to my regular doctor and he uses it all the time. He's like, oh, I can show someone you're eating iron. You're not doing this. You're taking this medication. Oh, what about those zinc supplements? Oh, you're, you're taking zinc and iron at the same time. We need to change that or your zinc and your calcium, or we've got this going on. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to increase your iron foods intake and maybe your vitamin C intake, you know, depending. And let's also put you on a supplement and then let's reassess, but let's also dive deeper. That's what we're all here for. I mean, we've spent hours and hours of training. Let's look at your CRP, your ferritin, your TIBC, your UIBC. Let's maybe do a digestive tune-up if digestion is indicated. Let's evaluate and figure out how it's going to be easier to help somebody optimize their iron because just adding iron is
is a recipe for disaster in terms of long-term health uh, you know, implications when we miss the mark on that part. Here's one that I get all the time as a case study, you know, pre-diabetic patient, um, also pre-diabetic as defined with hemoglobin A1C, which y'all, we know that's not better. Come on, hemoglobin A1C, it was, it was so much better than just fasting glucose when it, when it arrived. Again, I'm old, so 30 years ago, so happy that we got hemoglobin A1C, but it's a really bad batting average. We actually have this chart and it uh, shows you know everybody who had a seven or everybody who had a 5.3 and it was three different people and somebody had a 5.3. So they were not even diabetic, not pre-diabetic, 5.3 hemoglobin A1C. They bounced between a third, like um, it was like a seven and a 300. Their blood sugar literally looked like an EKG. It was like bouncing up and down on that part. Well, internally, that's not better. But all if we just use the hemoglobin A1C, we would have said to this person, we don't have to deal with any of this stuff, right? So we've got to dive deeper in there. So I want to understand. So that's where continuous glucose monitor can be helpful for us today. But we also have tools at our disposal that are really simple. What's going on with somebody today? Why might they be, you know, she's dealing with all these sweet cravings. What's going on with her sweet taste bud? So maybe she's somebody who's tried giving up all sorts of added sugar and now is having a ton of stevia and monk fruit and erythritol and xylitol and all this stuff. And that sweet taste bud is an overdrive. It's, and maybe it's somebody who's choosing way too many acid forming foods versus alkaline forming foods. Sweet taste bud is an overdrive. So we actually have a fun little test. Anybody can do it. You bite into an apple. You don't want to do it right after having like coffee or brushing your teeth, but a neutral palate, maybe eat some cucumbers, whatever, and see on a scale of one to 10, how how sweet was that apple? If it's not a seven or greater, you need a sweet taste bud reset. Guess what? I can do that on social media and bring people in. And suddenly I have like literally all the time. I have so many people who are like, wait, I need to reset my taste buds. Well, that's so different than just telling somebody to get rid of sugar because they get rid of sugar for like three weeks. You know, it happens every January. They're like, okay, I'm going to do a month of no sugar, you know, on this part. Great. Where do they end up then? Well, usually by about March or April, diving into the Easter egg candy and it's back to like, you know, I'm, I'm having sweets all the time, right? And it's this on again, off again on that part. We can teach them and show them so much better. So the way that we do it using our tools is we want to evaluate where are you getting an added sugar, but we also want to teach you about sweeteners. And our sweetener guide is one of my absolute favorite tools because it actually shows people how the non-nutritive sweeteners, usually they think that the only discussion is artificial versus natural. So everybody thinks if it's natural, it's got to be better for us. No, it's still hundreds, if not thousands of times sweeter than that apple on that part. So your natural sweeteners can be driving up your sweet taste bud. And there are some like allulose and some of the other ones that are a little bit, you know, they're less sweet than sugar, but they may not do great with your digestion. So we have to evaluate those pieces, right? And then we can use our menus we're not a meal planning company, but we give you teachable menus to actually show how you can implement changes. So, you know, hey, I never thought about doing, um, you know, uh, baking an apple and having that with walnuts and some cinnamon um, and learning to bake apples without adding sugar on top of them while we're baking them. That was like blew my mind on that part. Um, I actually have, there's a great non-dairy um, uh, Miyoko's butter. I will like literally eat anything just to, so I can have Miyoko's butter. And I add that to baking an apple and it's literally better than any apple pie that's out there. When I can show someone how delicious and easy that is to do, suddenly they're like, okay, I've got something for when I have that sweet craving. And over time, as I'm doing that sweet taste bud reset for them, they can start to see where they can have choices. They also start to identify what are their triggers. So is it fatigue that was actually triggering me? It, is it that I was on Instagram and I saw all these delicious things? Is it that my kids were having something sweet? Like what is it that's triggering it? Um, and then that's going to help us work on the trigger as a, and a solution to the triggers, as opposed to just working on uh, saying to them, don't have sugar. And we actually have programs. Um, that's for another day in a discussion, but um, we have programs that are app-based that you can actually take patients through, or you can have us take your patients through uh, and they get coaching. And it's you know great in terms of uh, personalizing in that part, because at the end of the day, sometimes the better use of your time is actually gifting this off to someone else to be doing it but to revenue generate. So we wholesale, just like we offer you the tools and lifetime access, and we'll talk about that. Um, we also wholesale our programs on that part for you all so you can uh, uh, revenue generate off them. So the idea is to start someone. If I started somebody with a sweet taste bud reset, or if I started somebody off with that iron discussion, then we wanna be able to take them in all of these different directions based on root cause and what we're really trying to work on. 
all the way in the right hand corner, we might ultimately realize that their why is that they're really looking at cancer risk reduction. Maybe they've had cancer before, maybe they know someone who's had cancer, maybe that's where their stress is. And so now we can start to build a whole plan around that and you know, start to look at things like um, what's the role of caffeine or how, what am I cooking? You know, what do I use in my kitchen from a cooking standpoint and a um, storage standpoint? Maybe what we realized actually from an iron standpoint is that somebody has greater, higher levels of CRP and a sed rate, we've got to work on inflammation. So we really need to move over to that anti-inflammatory. So we have a whole pathway to take them on. Maybe we realize that with the sugar that it was real that it's kind of everything and we need to start working with someone on okay let's start and have you have some initial successes. Let's get in all those colors because we all know at the end of the day that if somebody's getting in a rainbow from actual foods, their body is getting what it needs to do so many different things. And that's an incredible starting point. It's also a fun, easy way for somebody to start to engage with better nutrition, which is different than telling them, you know, hey, do 30% um, fats, 20% carbs, 60% per, you know, whatever it is on, on that piece. So we have all of these different, you know, directional ways uh, to work on that piece. So just a reminder to you, every single minute, someone else is telling your patient something about nutrition today. This was not the case when I started. When I started, nobody was really connecting nutrition. You know, I had practitioners who um, people had, you know, IBD and Crohn's and like, it has nothing to do with nutrition. We've come a long way, but the issue is so has the marketplace billions and billions of dollars. There is so much money being invested in precision nutrition, precision medicine, and these online companies, the digital space, and they're using AI. You are so much better than AI. You might use some of those tools within there, but what you need to do and your business needs to do is show them at every stage, your superpower is that you actually can personalize. And that's where, and client journey is like my favorite, this is like my favorite tool. Everyone should do it for their business. Um, but, and this is super tiny writing and I won't go through everything, but the idea at every stage is like, if they're in the awareness phase, if they are just coming to meet you, you can actually say like, how fun would it be to do a session like this or to do on social media? Is your sweet taste bud driving you in the wrong direction? I think of like Thelma and Louise and you're like going down the road and you're like going the wrong way. Cause yeah, at about three o'clock, it's taking me to the coffee shop or it's taking me, I might normally get the tea and it's taking me over here to the double frap or, you know, whatever it is on that part. Um, and then it'll actually, you, you also in, uh, if you're getting referrals from a practitioner, or if you're, if you are the doctor, you can actually say, Hey, I'd actually like you to take this sweet taste bud test, you know, and here you go on that part. If you do media. So I was doing TV the other day and on a plant-based segment, um, and you can say, hey, this is something any of you can do at home. And then if you want me to go over your results, you can just email through my website, right? And that's a way to bring it in. Give them something to actually do. And then when they actually engage with you or they're actually evaluating purchase from you, you want to make sure that you're showing them that there's an opportunity cost of not doing it with you and also turning around and saying like, hey, Here's something that nobody else has said to you. You might actually need to reset those sweet taste buds. Everybody else that's out there selling you solutions for lowering your sugar or addressing your cravings or whatever, I think we got to actually physiologically address what's going on. We've got to reset you know, those, those sweet taste buds. Then this is really important. I talked about it before. When somebody purchases with you, don't wait for three months in and the end of a package or the end of a time working with you to start like and have that awkward session. Like, so today's our last session. And I was thinking it'd be really great if you wanted to sign up for another three months or, or really aggressive, like, okay, cool. So now it's time to, you know, sign up by your next three months. No. From the moment they start working with you, you want them to understand that this is something, this is an ongoing cycle because health is dynamic, better nutrition needs to be personalized and personalization is about where you are today. So in several tomorrows, I need to know where you are today. And so we're going to continuously engage and I have different offers for you of ways that we can work together. So we might be working together more intensely. We might be working together less intensely, but there are ways for us to continue to work together. So you always have me as a resource to be that light that says, I know you, and I'm going to help you personalize your better choices on that part. And you can keep moving them forward. So that's sort of how the system, all the system works. So this is where I always, I'm like, all right, are you ready to harness that superpower? And I actually think many of you have been trying to harness your superpower. I hear this all the time and Jody's nodding too. We interact with practitioners and it's like, oh my gosh, but how do we do it all? Or do I have the money or do I even need to hire other people to be able to do that? And that's an in interesting question on that part. But at the core, what we really need to be thinking about is that's most important is 
what do you, what's your zone of genius? What do you want to be doing? What's the best way for you to spend your time? As I talked about it, you know, in the beginning on that part, look, if you love dancing on social media, then absolutely do dancing on social media. If it's a good use of your time, but then maybe posting on social media, scrolling through on social media, or maybe there's something else writing emails that isn't as good of a use of your time. And we need to have the done for you content uh, in that part. And that is certainly where we can come in on that part. So we at the better nutrition program with the tools, all of those tools that I was showing you, they all also deliver done for you content. You can screenshot them and show them. You can read about, you know, I, I said to you, the sweet, um, the sweetener guide has uh, this comparison right in there of um, the artificial and the natural, but also which ones are higher in terms of uh, how sweet they, they are in, uh, versus an apple. You can actually use that content. Take it. It's yours. When you purchase this, you get to use that content that can go in emails that can go in your site, like done for you, researched, practice-based, evidence-based, that stuff isn't stuff that you need to be making up. One of our colleagues, Meg Moretta, like, I love it. She was like, it costs like $5 a day, Ashley. Like, this is like a no-brainer, you know, on that part. Uh, and she uses it to personalize. We had Dr. Uh, Ansura, she called me and she was like in a panic. And she's like, I'm, I'm being asked to speak on uh, this panel on energy. And I was like, great, give everyone in the audience the caffeine evaluation. She got 121 follow-up calls. And we literally put together she had purchased from us the energy program off to the races. She customized it with some of her labs and her supplements and was able to take people through that. We have practitioners like um, Dr. Shabana, who's it just like she's using the tools. She's like, I'm a wellness practitioner. I want people to understand that I'm here to help them get well. That's different than somebody coming in and thinking that I'm here to just meet them when they're broken. So in order to do that, I need to be proactive with them on that part. Um, as a member, Virginia uh, came in here. She's like, I've been a practitioner for decades. Um, she's like, I wanted these high quality time-saving tools for my business because, you know, really being able to use them means that I don't have to go and create the things that I know that I need. One of our colleagues, Brianna, um, I asked her because she actually had a bet with her husband. If she met her goals, she got to pick out the flooring that she wanted. So I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I know we've got a couple of months. I really want you to get the flooring. Have you met your goals? And she emails me and she's like, meet them. I smash them. I'm three months early. She's like, so I've raised my prices. I'm setting new goals. She's like, and I'm doing another bet with my husband, you know, on that part. I was like, this is awesome. Uh, we also had um, Dr. Glick uh, had referred his patients to us um, to go through the continuous glucose monitor program. And that was really valuable because he needed his client to see what, and he needed to see from a result. It was actually how sleep and exercise were impacting blood sugar. It had nothing to do with the carbs. And the person kept trying to adjust their food on that part. So we were able to give uh, that intel coming from the programs. So you can keep doing what you've been doing. You can feel what you've been feeling and you can hope for better. I don't want that for any of you. You can certainly decide based on what we talked about here. You can use our free resource. I highly recommend that everybody grabs that rainbow evaluation. You can have people bite into the apple. You can tell them they need a sweet taste bud reset based on everything I just talked about. You can make up your own, uh, go ahead and use it. No issues. You can hire someone to promote it on, on Instagram and go through that. And you can try to save money by doing this all yourself on that piece. I don't recommend that easier either. And primarily because I've been there as a practitioner right there with you. And I just know the difference that these tools can make. Plus Jody's now offering it to you for less. So this is a lifetime purchase that you're going to save additional money on. So we're going to talk about that part, which is the better nutrition program toolkit. So you have all of this content in here. We're always adding, you have a ton of different guides in there, a bunch of different evaluations, a bunch of different menus. They're fully white labeled. So you can add your logo on there. The tools are updated annually. We release an update in December, which you can choose to purchase or not. You never need to purchase again after your first purchase. They also are available already. Our evaluations are uploaded already in Practice Better, Healthy, Simple Practice, et cetera. So you can use them in there digitally with your patients, and you can also attach things like the guides. So we, we are working on a project in New Zealand, and we've got a bunch of people going through a, gen, a genomic uh, process. And so initially, we just sent everybody out the genomic guide so that they had you know that, uh, that information on that part. So super simple. Um, there's a lifetime guarantee. So when you get yours, you have your tools for life. You, they are yours. 
There's no additional paying. It's not like Apple, you, have, you don't have to upgrade or do any of these other things. They're going to help you deliver personalization more effectively, optimize client retention, save time and resources. You don't have to, to develop all of this content. If you work with a marketing team, if you have somebody doing social media for you, if you have a virtual assistant or have been thinking about getting a virtual assistant, you now have what those people need to go ahead and do better at, you know, uh, based on personalized nutrition on that part to not just attract, but to attract, engage, re-engage and in order to optimize uh, those patient outcomes on that part. Um, so the difference between the toolkit and the membership is pretty significant. The toolkit will offer you all of these tools on that part. And then uh, in addition, when you come over to the membership, you get two live access to us, two live sessions a month. So you can come in, we help you teach you about how um, to use the tools. We hack, like I was mentioning with you know Dr. Um, Sura, you, if you've got something coming up, we tell you how to go ahead and use those. You also have over, I think our video library is over 400 videos at this point. You can tell I go pretty quick. Uh, if you want to know what to do with potassium for someone, you want to know what to do with PCOS for someone else, you want to know what to do you know, with somebody who uh, has an issue related to their kids or whatever it is, we've talked on it and we've gone through how to use the tools in there. And so then you, you have those uh, as well in there. Um, you also get all the new tools that are released, uh, et cetera, um, included in your year with the membership. And then this is what everyone should be doing right now. You should be using the code BNP Jody because that is going to save you $175 off the toolkit, $350 off the membership. Now, what happens all the time is people are like, uh oh, $175. Okay, so maybe now it's going to be around like $1,600, right? Or with the membership, it's going to be around $3,000. And you're thinking about it as, can I afford that now and that cost for this year? you need to be thinking about, and some of our practitioners already who have been using these for three, four, and five years, um, you need to be thinking about 10 years from now, you're still using this. So the cost, per, it just continues to go down, and every day you're not having to develop things, you've got this content done for you. So that $1,600 when you, and I am always doing budgeting and, and talking to my clients about how to build their and optimize their profitability. So if you spend that $1,600 this year, next year you're not having to spend that, and you've got all of this th these tools in there that now are saving you time, you immediately got more profitable the next year in your business when you have tools like this. So it really helps you uh, to move that part along. Um, so just in closing, and I, I know we've got a bunch of questions on here, so I'll, I'll come over to those. What we really want to remember is that you are your superpower. You are the only one. Please, I please, I beg of you, go into your content. If you're on social media, go there. If you're talking to people, if you're giving presentations, be bold. You have to step in and explain to them, I am totally different than ever really well that you are thinking about doing and the, the great ads that they have on there. They are not actually going to tell you. They're telling you you're allergic to almonds because you eat almonds right now. You actually have digestive issues. I need to help you with those digestive issues. We can work on that. And guess what? I bet you probably will be able to eat almonds. And if you can't eat almonds, I'm going to help you figure out how to get your protein and your trace minerals in because almonds are really providing a lot of good nutrients for you. That's your difference. You have to share that. And that's going to be the, the way that you become more profitable, the way that you get to do more of what you love to do. You work better, not harder, and hopefully enjoy more of your practice uh, on that part. All right. I'll say thank you. We'll dive into this. Jody. I, I hope I answered some of the questions as I went through, but I'm also happy to uh, pop in and see if there are any other questions that came up. This is really great. I have to say, um, you can un unshare if you want. And okay, uh, great, perfect. so we can see that yeah. I think you got a bunch of questions in advance that you could kind of go through. But I will say, um, this is uh, just such a great tool, because you just think about how much time you would spend putting together handouts and putting together trying to put it together a nutrition program when you want to be doing the higher level stuff, right. And I think for the price of like a week of hiring a dietitian, you could get this whole program. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so it's uh, it's a really great uh, value, and um, I'm so glad you presented it today because I think a, a lot of people are going to take advantage of this. And I love that you can put your own logo on it, white label it. It seems like it really up levels you and makes you look so much better as a practitioner. That your practice has this as a tool, and you can really customize it for your patients. So I just, I just think it's fantastic. I hope a lot of you take advantage of it and thank you for offering the discount as well. But did you want to go ahead and go through some of those questions? Yeah. Um, and there's a great question from somebody who was listening, who you have my whole heart right now, because depression and anxiety 
um, are things. So th that's so important for us to be addressing. Uh, we actually did a workshop for practitioners and for our members uh, just recently on being a trauma-informed practice. Look, just existing today and going through the, the pandemic has been a trauma that we have all experienced. And then there are so many other you know, pieces to that. And people are having a hard time identifying depression and anxiety. Um, maybe they have a clinical uh, diagnosis. Uh, what we're finding is a lot of people actually don't go um, right now. And they're kind of like, oh, I got to, I'm just got to get through this, you know, and wait till, you know, till it gets better on that piece. So as somebody who is interested in working with patients that way, a thousand percent, and that your toolkit will absolutely support you in that. Um, I bring up the trauma piece because it's also really important how we ask questions of people today to understand, um, this was an example from the trauma program, if somebody is going and getting fast food for dinner, um, it may be that they have had traumatic experiences at the dinner table, either as a child during the pandemic with everybody at home, just things that they, they don't want to deal with. And so it may not actually be in turning around and saying like, hey, I'd love for you to actually eat dinner at home. That may not be something that is easier or doable for them right now. So we have to be able to dive into that. So when we develop our tools, and you'll see this in whether it's the guides or in the evaluations, when we ask questions we're intentionally doing them in a way that is endeavoring to not re-traumatize someone. We want to help you get information, but we also want to ask somebody. So we might ask, have you been treated for depression or anxiety? We also will ask some information about different medications that somebody has either taken or who may be on. And so you might get, you'll get some information there, but we also offer tools that are really going to be helpful for you where, you know, just asking somebody to evaluate magnesium. You don't need to talk to somebody about their depression and anxiety and initially, but we, in your head, we know magnesium plays such an important role and we can actually go in and evaluate their magnesium, which on the magnesium evaluation, we ask about things like which type of magnesium supplement are you taking? Maybe they've been trying to self-treat and they're taking magnesium oxide. Maybe they're, eat, they're not eating magnesium rich foods because they've been trying to reduce their carbohydrate intake. And that's actually exacerbating their anxiety. I have a lot of women who um, their fasting windows aren't right for them. Uh, and that actually, has been challenging and giving them more anxiety actually, you know, in, in that part. So the tools are a wonderful adjunct to you there, um, you know, within being able to have those conversations. And one of the most powerful things that we can do for someone who's experiencing depression or anxiety is actually meet them in that moment and, and recognize it and start to see, hey, is anything about your nutrition contributing to your depression or your anxiety? And it may not be what they're not getting in. And it may also be around their eating behavior. So we have this great eating habits evaluation. And when you start to see what they're doing on that part, you can say, oh, you know what? I think we could actually intervene with some of the habits and work on some of those things. Maybe we're not going to touch nutrition until we start to you know, see the benefits of some of the other stuff. So I love that question. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing. Um, and absolutely, the toolkit's really helpful. We have a lot of therapists uh, who actually, and mental health professionals who um, use our toolkit. And fun fact, I actually created the Better Nutrition Program. Everything that you see today came out of me giving a talk to a bunch of mental health professionals about magnesium and sharing that those that were recommending SSRIs without evaluating magnesium I was like, I think that's just wrong. Like you should, you, you know, I was telling them how to practice, which is, you know, absurd of me at the time, but it really, you know, it helped them to start to see, wow, I didn't realize how I could, you know, connect these, these two things on that part. So really helpful. Um, and, you know, a number of questions that came through initially, Jody, were also focused on what I'll call the concept of a non-compliant patient. And this is, I think, one of the things that is the most important about the BNP toolkit. So I'm pretty tough on practitioners. I'll just say it how it is. And non-compliance is actually not the patient. I don't approve of that comment. I, I, I said it the other day to a, a series of doctors. I was like, don't you dare say those patients are non-compliant. You haven't found something that's doable for them. And you haven't shown them how making a, something, making a decision or making certain choices is actually going to impact their health. Like they need to actually see it. It's that old Heinz 57 commercial, seeing is believing, right? You gotta, you gotta see it come out on that part. And so within that space, the only way that we can help somebody to start to take actions is showing them. I shared with you all when I did the rainbow evaluation, by the way, we use this with kids, like it's so fun. When, and when I use the rainbow evaluation, uh, I saw I wasn't getting an orange. Well, I'm a dietitian of 20 something years. 
years. Like that's not okay. I don't have to be perfect, but I can't look at something and not take action. Right. So now I'm constantly taking action around my orange and admitting to people that it's not just easy. Like I have to remember to take orange. And then when I'm having orange, make sure that it's not competing with my intake of blue or purple. It's not like I want to, you know, swap them out on that part. So it's really important for us to meet people where they are, you know, from an added sugar standpoint. Um, again, it could be that somebody is actually taking in a lot of added sugar. Maybe they had no idea. Maybe they just hadn't seen it. I didn't know until I looked at breads or I didn't know until I, you know, saw the amount of sodium and healthy choice. Well, it's called healthy choice. I thought I was purchasing a healthy choice, right? So we have so much work to do to help people because so much is working against them that we have to be really careful not to diagnose people as non-compliant. And if somebody isn't able to work with you, one of the great things, like they're just not getting results, then referring them to somebody else, but give, making that referral aligned with information of showing and saying, hey, here's what we've been trying to do. Um, I don't think that it's, it, this happens to me all the time. I refer to health coaches all the time in my practice, because if I actually like, am not, I'm as a dietitian, I probably do way more telling people what they should do than is right. Like I should definitely be working with them in a more supportive way. And so in that space, when I had my practice, it was so great to, to be able to refer to a health coach and say, Hey, here's what I'm trying to get them to do. And I'm not getting, I'm not breaking through on that part. So what do you think, you know, and off to the races. And then the health coach is like super empowered to be, to look and to see that. So that's also where the tools can be really helpful, you know, from that referral process. Um, but that was, that was a, a big set. I know the kids question came up as well. Let me see if we have, well, I, I just want to add yeah. that, you know, for those of you who are transitioning into functional medicine, what an amazing tool, even if you, you don't even know that much about nutrition, this is just covering that piece for you. And I think the price point is excellent. If you all want to click on the link that are in the comments, both in the zoom recording and Terry's putting it on Facebook for you, click on that link, look at the two programs she offers. I mean, like I said, for the basically less than the price of hiring a dietitian for a week, you're going to have lifetime access to this tool that really can distinguish you from other practices out there. And, and more importantly, you have a lot of compliance and better results for your patients. And that's why I think we all got into functional medicine is, you know, nutrition is like, you know, 50, 60, 70% of the game, right. Is getting them to comply and eating the right diet for, for whatever they're, they're struggling with. And if they're not doing that, I don't care how many supplements you're giving them and how many interventions and lab tests you're doing. If the nutrition piece isn't there, you can't out supplement that they're not going to get results. And so you're going to be a better practitioner having this tool. You're going to get more referrals from people that are satisfied with the work you're doing. And like I said, for less than the cost of hiring a dietitian for a week, I mean, this is, it's incredible. I, I get, commend you and Ashley for putting this together and thank you for offering that discount for our people. I think, um, I think you're going to get a lot of people wanting to do this and, uh, and, um, I think it's just great. Good for oh, you. Thank you. So and it, it like, it warms my heart because we're all, as you said, it's what we're all trying to do. Like we didn't pay the amount of money and we haven't gone through all this training to not be able to implement, you know, that this part, uh, if for any reason, there's an issue with the link, please just email and Terry can put this in the chat, but hello at the better nutrition program.com. And please just mention, right. You know, Jody's webinar um, referred by Jody. Cause I want to make sure that you get that discount, but we will, we'll, we'll send you over to that link. I don't want you to just go to the site and uh, try to navigate. You won't find what, what we're offering for, for Jody's group on that part. So uh, it just, if there's any issue and you know, what you said is so important. Um, I was actually, I mentioned to you that we're working on this project and I'm so excited at another point, we'll come back and, and introduce it uh, hopefully with Jeff Bland and be able to share that this immunity plus, because it's really revolutionary, but it's so we're talking about, you know, here's the father of functional medicine and his conversation is okay, we, we nailed it in getting people to understand root cause, but once we have that root cause, we now have to be able to help people make changes. And the way that we make changes is we've got to get into this showing and not the telling. And your point about the supplements is really profound because too often the supplements and the nutrition can work against each other. So that's that conversation about, you know, calcium um, and magnesium, for example, if I just give somebody a magnesium supplement, but I don't address their calcium intake in both a supplement and from their food standpoint, I may just keep thinking that they need more and more magnesium. And that's not actually the case. They might need less. They might've just needed to improve their, you know, their food from, from that standpoint and adjust the supplementation. And the other part about it is we are at a time 
time where people do not have a lot of disposable resources. They are going to challenge you on what they're asking, what you're asking them to spend. And a lot of times I'm seeing practitioners reduce their pricing because they still want somebody to, to purchase a lab. And I'm like, oh no, you don't need to reduce your, your pricing. You still want somebody to do the lab, but you want somebody to understand, first of all, there are things that we can do even before we do lab testing. We can do, you know, we can do rainbow, we can do digestion, we can do, you know, magnesium, we can do eating habits. There are all of these things that we can do. And then we, they will understand why we want to get into that lab. Or I want you to do this lab test. I want you to do the other stuff, but look at all the additional value you're going to get out of my program. Because one week we're going to tackle sodium and potassium. One week we're going to tackle magnesium and calcium. One week we're going to tackle the rainbow. And suddenly you have a done for you membership. You literally can turn around and have people buy, you know, I had somebody the other day who's um, selling, I, I think she's, I think she's, it's too low, but she's selling a membership for like $20. So she's thousands of people that are in the membership and she's selling it for $20 a month. And I was like, all right. And she's just using our tools, tool after tool after tool on that part. So there are ways that this is going to be more profitable for you. But if I was just talking about profits, we wouldn't be here because as practitioners, it really is going to be what helps somebody get those better outcomes, you know, overall on that piece. Yeah. I think a lot of it too, in terms of compliance is people get bored with, you know, you tell them, okay, you need to eliminate gluten and you need to eliminate this and that. And, you know, they get bored with their, what they're eating every day. So they don't, sometimes they don't comply. So having this, having the tools with the menus and the guides and everything <clears throat> just gives them so many more opportunities. So I love that. I loved your example. You used I, love, I love the way you're saying those people, I get bored. If I need the <laughs> same thing, like there's no chance. Like I use their menus. I come back and I'm like, oh, right chickpeas for potassium or, you know, I'm kind of over. Yes, I know cauliflower, but like I can only do so much cauliflower. So like, what are my other options in here, you know, and, and turning that part around? Yeah. It's like bok choy. What do I do with this? You know, they don't, they know they need to get to eat the, from the rainbow that they're not really sure what to do with it. What to so, do with it. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And you don't have time to spend a lot of time doing that. So um, what a great tool. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I will also shout out, I hope it comes across clear. I love health coaches. And so for those of you that are here that are health coaches, we also have our BNP coaching and would love to, you know, meet you and talk to you about how, you know, we need your services for, through our programs and pieces like that. So yeah, this group is all medical. This one oh, is all medical. medical. Okay, right. great. Yeah. So, so we also have that where we're able to deliver that over for you all, um, that kind of support from a nutrition standpoint. Yeah. Great. That's great too. Uh, some people are working as coaches and I know there's a lot of nurses in the, in yeah. the group too, that are working more in the capacity of health coaches, plenty of practitioners doing that too, not yes. using their license, but doing the, doing it as a coach. So this applies to everybody really. Great. In the group. Great. Yeah. Oh, it's so wonderful. Well, Jody, I want to be super conscious of your time. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for having us here and really thank you for connecting because we're now able to offer this discount now that we do not offer this kind of discount just out there. So um, this is a really great opportunity and we want to make sure that your folks can take advantage of it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And I we really appreciate it. And Ashley, you're, if you're in the group, it would be great. If people have questions, they can post them on Facebook yeah. underneath this video. Yes. Um, give us some hearts if you appreciate having Ashley on and the discount she's giving us all. I'll try to get better, great speakers into this group and the best resources so you all can thrive and, and, and excel in your practice and, uh, and, and get people healthy. That's what we're all out here to do, but also put your questions below and we'll see okay. if Ashley or our team can come on and answer those as well. If you have any additional yeah. questions, but thank you so much, Ashley. Absolutely. Really and I'm, I'm pretty it. sure I'm in your group as myself. So as Ashley Kopp, so please feel free to tag me. And in the future, just if you have questions, like I love to, as you can see, I hope it comes through authentically. I just love to chat about how do we help you compete better and get those better outcomes today? So um, please consider me a resource, but I, I love this collaboration. Thanks, Jody. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye, everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye.